Uh, the other piece of news coming out of the NHL this past weekend, the Vancouver Canucks signed Daniel Sprong, who is with the, uh, there you go, for one year, 970 Five thousand people really like this deal. Daniel Sprung. A lot of people are saying should probably fire his uh, yeah his agent. <laughs> back to back years, he's he's uh, kind of been late signed PTOs. Twenty one goals a couple of years ago for Seattle. Eighteen goals last season for Detroit. Forty three points. He's an interesting player because he doesn't play in the top six. He just plays a lot of power play minutes and kind of produces on that. So, what do you make of this deal for Vancouver? Obviously, adding a little bit more scoring. I think it's a pretty solid piece of business. I mean, you can't go wrong with a one-year 975 for a guy that had 18 goals last season. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'm surprised that it took this long for him to find his spot just because of that offense he can provide in the bottom six. Oh, did you guys hear that? Oh, Waz is in shambles out there right now hearing this Daniel Sprong <laughs> talk. Waz has been banging the drum on Daniel Sprong yes, for a long has. time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. you out there, Waz. <laughs> I see you out there. He comes walking up to the window. He's like, okay. Um... Yeah, no, I think it's fine. I think it's a fine yeah. piece of business. A little offense in the bottom six for him, but I don't know. I hate it because it's good. He's a good player. Dude, 18 goals for not a million dollars. Yeah. That's nuts to me. Yeah, his, fire, uh, fire your agent right now. Hockey of his profile has him as a you know, high-end third liner, low-end second liner. So you know, He's Mason Raymond. Like, pretty much. Ooh. He's had a couple spikes yeah. in his career oh, too, enough. funny enough. Like 22-23, yeah. he was contributing at the level of a high-end first liner. Which is pretty incredible I'm, to see. I'm, and obviously, these things you kind of take with a grain of salt to a certain extent with these these kind of charts. But you know, when you isolate a player's impact, it's kind of interesting to see the way that uh, these players all fit into the mix. I, I, I suppose. I'm surprised he's not your favorite player in the NHL. Analytics, darling. He's Dutch. Oh yeah. Oh, he is yeah. From, he was yeah. born in Amsterdam. Yep. Netherlands. The I only think. Dutch. Player. I thought it was an analytics thing too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I thought> no. <laughs> the only Dutch player in um, the NHL, I believe, played his junior hockey in, in Charlottetown in the QMJHL. So funny story. Um, with the Cup Finals going on, obviously Coombs and I had media credentials, mm. and so um, there was a journalist uh, named Core who traveled from the Netherlands oh, to Edmonton for the cup finals. He was here for games three and four. And um, we got talking. And of course he had brought over some Stroop waffles from, from the Netherlands, nice. which are absolutely a delicacy. They're like a, a little wafer cookie with caramel on the inside mm -hmm. of them. They're unbelievable. Um, but we were talking about, you know, Dutch players in the NHL and we talked about Daniel Sprong and he said he did the same thing with Sprong a couple of years ago when they had that, you know, overseas thing where they right. played some games overseas. And he was with Detroit yes, at the time, I Detroit. think, where he did that. And he's like, yeah, I brought him a Stroop waffle and it made him pretty happy. <laughs> well, his like, dad actually played in the Dutch professional league. Oh, ah, there I you just go. just lucked that. And I wasn't sure if he was just born there or what it was. But yeah, his dad, uh, Hanny Sprong, played for, last played 1992 for Red, Red Eagles something else there you go there was actually <laughs> just speaking of dutch players uh there was one dutch player who played for the edmonton oilers three games in 1986 87 wayne van dorp there you go a very dutch name very very dutch name uh a native of vancouver but he's got uh dutch roots so uh stroop waffles look delicious oh yeah they yeah. are legit so the trick with the stroop waffle <clears throat> is that you have to get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and you take your Stroop waffle and you set it on top of it. So the steam from your hot coffee or your hot tea melts it a little bit more on the inside. Uh, yeah, they're incredible. What's up, Nation citizens? If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers Nation YouTube podcast, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis, everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation. And you don't want to miss any of it. So hammer that subscribe button.